Radio station WHIFIFM, serving the greater Milltown area, is once more proud to bring with this time your weekly high fidelity forum of the air. And here is your moderator, Feedback Frugal. Yeah, thank you. Well, every week at this time, I have to ask all you people listening on anything less than a 15 inch speaker with an 8 inch tweeter to tune out, please. We don't mean to be undemocratic, but we're a select group, and we can't have just anybody listening. Thank you, so get out, please. Well, tonight our panel looks a little bit like who's who in hi-fi. <laughs> <laughs> to my right, Mr. H.H. H. Horn, president of the Summit Ridge Louder and Louder Club. Mr. Horn? Mr. Horn? Huh? Oh, oh. Uh, and to my right, Mr. Dacron Grillcloth, editor of Assemble It Yourself magazine. Uh, thank you, and good evening. And on my right, a very charming teenager, Miss Rhoda May Flog of the West Branch Falls branch of the Johann Sebastian Bach fan club. I believe that's the inscription on your windbreaker, Miss Flog. I hope your ears are better than your eyes. It says, don't knock Bach. That's the slogan of our club. Oh, that's the slogan. I yeah, think. we have jerseys, too, that say, every toccata is worth a few. Fine. Thank you, Miss Flog, for the plug. Well, that's our panel. Now, first, we'll play just a teeny bit of a brand-new LP recording and see who'll be the first to identify it. Here we go. I think you'll find it works better if you remove the record jacket first. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's my mistake. Here we go. Sturdy jacket. Well, there we are. Now try and identify this. Well, that's about enough of that, I get. Oh, sorry. Well, my, my arm slipped. I'm sorry. Now, do you know uh, who that was? H.H. Horn had his hand up. Uh, that was played over a Pimlington amplifier model 220. Right so far. The Philly preamp and Magnus tone arm. What do you mean a Philly preamp? That had over 1.6% hum. You can't get that kind of distortion out of a Philly. My dear Miss Flug, I can hear up to 20,000 cycles. All I right. Hey, hey, all hum. right. It's great, Miss Flug. has got you there, H.H. H. <laughs> it was a Murdoch Jr. with over 2% hum. Now, what about the turntable, Mr. Uh, Grillcloth? Uh, yes, well, it has quite a bit of rumble in it. I think it was the new Murdoch just on the market. Right you are. Do you think it'll sell 200000 No, no. They have quite a few bugs in them yet. I got a Murdoch. It doesn't have any bugs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why, they've got a rumble like a cement mixer. Well, sure they do if you don't use a foam rubber spindle adapter. All right, all right. Did anybody recognize the music? Uh, tell you the truth, I wasn't listening to the music. Uh, me either. Well, no matter. Now we come to our contest. <clears throat> If you can guess the sound, you win a life-size, inflatable, latex rubber Liberace. He comes with his arms extended, ready to be blown up and set down at your own piano. Oh, Gee, that's well, yeah. yeah, now what familiar sound is this? Listen. <laughs> Well, I don't see any hands. That was Benny Goodman in a skin diver suit, 20 feet underwater, playing Danny Boy in a kelp bed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't oh, think should have had that. H.H., oh, you yeah. should have had that. Well, now one more just quickly here. Recognize that sound? Hmm? I think Got that it? was a... Uh... No, I give up. Yeah, what, no, what was that? I was King Farouk in a skin diver suit, 20 feet underwater, applauding Benny Goodman. Oh, well, if you'd played that on something beside a lousy Murdoch turntable without all that rumble, I, what I think mean, that I would have... lousy Murdoch? I'd like to hear your turntable. All <laughs> right, Miss Plug, you have yeah, an opportunity I... right now. Mr. Grillcloth has assembled his home hi-fi kit here in the studio, and we're all going to get a little listen, right, Doctor? Uh, yes, yes. As advertised in our magazine, assemble it yourself. Now, of course, in order to prepare for our kit, you have to rip out all the walls in the interior of your house. I see. And next, our acoustical walls go up in sections. Prefabricated. Well, more or less. One wall is solid tennis balls. The other is asbestos. The third, wet bathing suits. And the fourth, a um, sort of a foam rubber bar-relief mural of the Pickin sisters in repose. Mm, some acoustics, right? What about equipment? Well, I use 521-inch speakers in the ceiling, as you can see here. I yes. have it all set up there. Uh -huh. 
plus a ten-foot horn enclosure in each corner. I have a style master preamp in a Fomroy turntable. Oh, the waste one he could have picked. Listen, madam, people who own Murdoch turntables should not... All right, them. now, oh, now, buddy. how much does all that equipment cost? I know our listeners well, will be uh, anxious. Yes, well, I'll tell you. Find out the cost. Yes, <clears throat> please, I'll, I'll tell you. Fine. 5499.50 takes it home. Of course, the cost of building the railroad spur right to your house, which is essential, is not included not in Not included that. in the price. Well, could we hear a little music through your system? I, I see you have it all set up. No, 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 no. No, I'm afraid it wasn't designed for this studio. Oh, a shame. No, the room won't stand the stress. Oh, I think it would, but uh, I'm sure our listeners would have enjoyed hearing sure, it. I yeah. would have enjoyed hearing it. No, Ooh. not me. This way I don't have to hear that more than 5% turntable rumble in that lousy farm uh, noise. Just a minute, Miss right, Smart Alex. Yeah, you right. just take a panel. Up, Here, Mr. Blog, put your windbreaker back on, please. Oh, yeah, all right, yeah. you, you want to hear a little hi-fi, eh? Well, listen to this. <laughs> concludes our weekly High Fidelity Forum of the Air. Now back to the frothy beat of Claude Hopper and his boys. 